Good morning. This is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. It might not be morning when you're actually watching this, but it's morning when I'm filming it. And it's a really pretty morning today here in the Finger Lakes. The sun is shining. Uh, there is snow on the ground, so it's quite chilly, but it is still really pretty. And you may be wondering why I have a card here. That's supposed to be a bow, but I am really terrible at, at making these little bows. So on a uh, about one Friday a month, I go to a stamping up class. Um, not class, it's a workshop. It's a bunch of fun. A bunch of us get together and we just make some cards. I'm not really a card maker. Um, I make these more for what I can do with them with my junk journals. Um, and I will post the link to Nancy's channel. Uh, Nancy from Stampin' Up! Nancy Burt Priest has her own channel and she shows you how to make not only this card, but dozens of cards. She's really fun to watch. So I will post her link down below. And um, I'm going to be using, this is what uh, she calls it Fun Fold Friday. And this is, uh, so this is what we're working on today. I wanted to adapt this, however, for journaling. Because although this is a pretty card, how would I use that kind of a fold in a journal? Well, here we go. So this is not attached, but you can see how it fits on the page. I've made it bigger. Um, I've made this part bigger. I left this part small, and I, when we go through making it, you'll see why. But it opens up, and I thought that was really cool. Now her card, when you open it up this way, it's just blank on the back. I didn't want to do that. This is a journal, and people are going to flip things over. So I did this on the back. This, uh, These pieces are from a digital that I had, and then this was also a digital that I fussy cut out for something different. But I left room for writing here, But you, and you could do that. You could definitely leave room for writing here or here. Um, but I just thought that was such a really cool way to do this. So what we're going to do today is make one of these and we'll see how it goes. Now to do this, I just wanted to pull out, I, I have a color scheme in mind for a particular journal that I'm doing. And in fact, this one will be going into uh, a journal that is in my head. I haven't actually put this journal together yet, but these are the colors that are in it. So, um, yeah, that's th this will be going into that journal. But you can make a bunch of these and have them ready for whatever journal you want to put them in. Now, I did write down measurements for myself because of what this one is. I will put these measurements neatly into the comments below. This is just my, you know, what, what do I have? What do I need kind of thing. So I need a five by seven card. So I'm gonna go five inches here. This is just an eight and a half sheet of solid color paper that I'm using for my start. And I want, there's five inches by seven inches. I'm gonna set that, those other two pieces aside. Don't get rid of them, because we're gonna use them. Okay, so there's my five by seven card. My inside, and I I'm chose this piece because um, I don't necessarily like it, and I'm going to end up covering it up. It says, enjoy the little things, which I may end up keeping. I don't know. So I want it to be six and a half by four and a half. So I'm going to cut off a four and a half piece. Four and a half section of it. And you could do this really with any... Paper. I'm just want to use up some of my uh, 12 by 12s that I'm not particularly fond of. So this is a good way for me to use them up and then because I'm going to cover a bunch of it. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. So this is my back. Okay, so I have my back set. Now I'm going to do my middle. Okay, let me get rid of that. I don't need that piece right now. Okay, so I have my back set. Now I'm going to do this middle piece. And the reason my middle piece is that size is because I have this leftover piece of brown. And rather than waste it, 
I figured I'll use it in the fold. Now what I want to Okay, do... I'm back and I have a, another sheet of paper and I realized that what I did was when I cut it, I should have cut my seven inches this way and then my five inches this way. Let me do that quick. So now that becomes my back piece. This becomes my front piece. And this extra piece becomes my folded in thirds piece. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this one again. Fold this piece because it's a little bit narrower and I like that better. And I should have realized when I was folding it that I was folding some things incorrectly. All right. So, you know, mistakes happen. And we just move on. Now I have another piece cut. And will these pieces get used? Absolutely. I will make something different out of those and put that over there. So this uses up the entire eight and a half by 10 sheet. If you fold, if you make sure you cut it correctly, you can get all the sheets out of there. So there's this part, there's this part, there's this part. Now I need the top part here. And it has to be, that top part is three by six and a half. So there's my three by six and a half. And I'm only taking a little bit off the edge of that. So I've got a little piece left. There we go. All right. So we had a false, a bit of a false start, but we're ready to go. We're ready to keep on with this. All right, next piece up is gluing the whole thing together. And that goes actually pretty easily. First, I'm going to glue the two front pieces onto their, onto their respective parts. So now if you wanted to do any distressing, um, that would be, this would be the time to do it. On the outside pieces, I'm not distressing these uh, because I will be um, putting this in something that, while it requires some other pieces may be distressed, this piece does not need to be. Come on, I'm having a little trouble with my glue today. I'm waving it around, but it's not doing very good coming out. Okay, might be because it's a very cold day today. So the glue is running slow and gloppy. All right, we'll put you on here and smooth you down, set you aside. I'm going to keep that piece right there so I don't lose it. It's really only these pieces and then this piece. What's nice when I do this with in the workshops with uh, Nancy is that she has the pieces already cut out. So you don't have to cut them out. When we go to the workshop, she cuts them out for us and we just assemble, which is great because then we have enough time to actually do more than one card and time to chat. Because let's face it, we chat, we have this at a restaurant, we clean up, we eat. All right, so at the moment, this is set to go this way. To pull out this way which is what I think I want with this one um, because this one pulls this way and this one will pull this way so let me go ahead now and attach I think I'm going to attach this to this first Okay, we like I said, we, it's chilly in here today, so the glue is moving slowly. But the sunshine is good, and so no complaints from me. I like the, and I'm I'm. You may wonder why I'm using Fabri-Tac rather than. This is kind of nice because I have lines I can line it up. Um, rather than glue a glue stick. Because this is going to get some wear and tear. With the flap opening and closing all the time, I want to make sure that it does not um, get 
loose. I'm pulling a piece off of there because what I want to do is just put a little bit of my... There, we'll do this. This way I don't have to worry about getting glue on the rest of the project. So I hope you're having all a good day. I'd like to say a thank you to all of the new subscribers. Um, there have been quite a number of you. Thank you for joining up. And if you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you, if and you're not subscribed, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you are subscribed, hit the like button. Let YouTube know that you like what's going on on this channel. <clears throat> all right. So now I have a flip that goes this way. So all we have left to do is decorate it. Now this one I did with flowers, so th but this one's going into a book journal. And so I have a couple of different pieces here that might allow, oh, you know what I want to do? I do want to put a piece of, coffee. well, I'll, I'll get that in a bit. I want to put some coffee dyed paper there. Um, or I could just put this here that says to read. Maybe I'll put that here. No, nope, I don't like it as much. There we go. We could put that here. This one I will ink up. Um, I, this came from a digital and I'm sorry, I don't remember where. If anybody knows where this digital came from it's been on my computer for a while and i don't i didn't put it in the folder so i don't know where it came from so if you know where this came from please let me know because i would very much like to give attribution um giving credit where credit is due is important to me and i try to do that as much as i can so if you know where this digital came from, let me know. There. We'll put that on the back side as part of our piece. And then you know what I need? I need a set of books. Do I have some books here? These are all things that I have started collecting for the book journal that I want to do. And so I have all these pieces. And I'm looking for something kind of small. There we go. I like that. Let me ink the edges on that one. So then that's really just it you just decorate once you have put the fold together the hard part is already done now we're just decorating it up and i know you could absolutely use glue for this I mean, uh, a glue stick, but again, I think I'm liking this better. Okay, we need something on the front. Something that says books. These are all journal cards that I have, so nothing there. But I have, that's kind of big. I like the T. It's also too big. There we go. That one's a little bit better. I guess I want the one with the flowers. I might like that one better. And again, I wish I could remember where these digitals came from. All right, let me real quick grab a piece of tissue paper to put behind there. And I'm going to put these tissues away. I have a piece of sewing tissue paper that is the right color, but I don't want the sewing pattern on it. I would just want the, I think this is the right color. Let's see. 
Would that work? Might be too light. Let's put it out there as a possibility. Let's see what else we have in here. Because we certainly have enough. Um, we could go with a green. I have this nice... This is a pack that I haven't even opened yet. But I like how the colors all go together. And in fact, I might do the entire... Uh, journal in these colors. Let's pull that out. Okay. Sorry. Bit of a mess. If I can, I'll edit out my messy... Obviously, I have to go through that at some point and fix that. Okay. So I want just a little bit of it. That's perfect. There's my glue stuff. This time I am going to switch to a glue stick. Uh, because glue sticks work really well on this. I know some people use uh, Mod Podge and Decoupage and all. But I find that really a glue stick does just fine on tissue paper. So I really like using... Just the, and I, if it wrinkles, that's fine. In fact, I kind of like it when it wrinkles. Let me edge this. Give those pages an older look. There we go. Now I'm, we're cooking. Cooking with gas. I know gas has got a little bit of controversy nowadays. But there we go. I like that. And I think I want to put a number down here. Or maybe, there we go. I have a bunch of quotes, book quotes. Um, I have more, but not here. Uh, really? Because I want the book quote. I don't have it right here. All right. Let me pause my video, grab my book quotes. I'll be right back. I found my book quotes and I, I have them still on their sheet. I have not yet cut them up. What I did was I went through... Um, oh, I like the Dr. Seuss quote. I'm going to use Dr. Seuss here. Um, I just went through the web and I found a bunch of quotes that were really cool about books. And then I simply made an, an entire page of them in, uh, I used Microsoft Word and I used, um, what's the word I'm thinking? Columns. I just made them in columns and separate pages, separate pieces, and then I just put them all together. Um, so the more you read, the more things you will know, the more that you learn, the more places you'll go. That's perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and put these on. These I will use the Fabri-Tac for. And what's cool is this is really kind of a mass. You can do a mass make with these. Just do a whole bunch of them and not decorate them. I'm decorating this one because I know what it's going to go into. But... I could just as easily make a whole bunch of these, not decorate them, and stick them in my stash. And then when I'm ready to use them in a book, there they'll be, and all they'll need is the decoration for that particular book. All right. 
So I have here, I don't have here yet, but I have my back done. So let me real quick get my top. Where's my top? Put that on there so I don't mess things up. I am going to real quick clean these up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Those are finished pieces. So they're going to go into here. That's going to go into there. So I've got it all set. Now, what I need is a piece of book page. Oh, sorry. I just banged it on here on the table. What else is new? Okay. Now, I could use, with this one, I put in just a piece of white. And I certainly could do that here. This one just has a piece of white with a little bit of extra from here put in it. That's also an option. But because this is um, more of a coffee dyed color, that's really what I want. And it should be that big, which I think is two inches, right? Yeah, two inches. So I only want two inches wide. There's more measurements for you. Throw that over there. Uh, I could have gone with two and a half. I would rather have two and a half. So let me go here. Two and a half inches wide. The correct measurements will be down in the... Uh, there we go. So that's two and a half wide. And I don't know how long that is, so I'm just going to put a little tick mark. And then I'm going to come in here and I will measure it for you. Okay, uh, three and three quarters. Two and a half by three and three quarters is what I have ended up with. Grab my glue stick. I think the glue stick leaves less, fewer bumps in the paper. There we go. Now I could put another piece right here so that when you open it, you can write there. The problem with that is <clears throat> if you're in a journal, it's, you know, it could be up here and then you're trying to write and it's, it's not as easy. So I think I'm going to go ahead and find another, I have this little piece of, I like those, you know what, but we're going to grungy it up a little bit because it's on white paper. So, and I would rather it be just a little bit grungied. There we go. So we grungy that up, we'll put that in there just to be a little set of books. And there we have it. Uh, where'd my page go? Sorry, I'm reaching. So now that can go into the journal and we unfold it out. You can write on it here if you want it to open the other way. You simply make it so that it opens this way. So there we go. On this fabulous Friday we have a fun fold. We had a little bit of a glitch at the beginning of this video but you know, we work it out. We figure out how things go. I'll put the measurements down in the link or down into the description box. I will also put a link to Nancy's page. If you're enjoying this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and like it. Uh, that I like it when you like the like button because YouTube likes it when you like the like button. Uh, and if you want notifications as to when the next video is coming out, go ahead and hit the, notif the little bell, and that way you'll get a notification every time I release a new video. All right. I hope you're having a great day on this fabulous Friday. This is Cindy signing off.